Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Trends 360 studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Hope you survived Turkey Day and the, the chaos of Black Friday. Uh, I personally like Amazon.com much safer. Uh, looking at uh, the November world summary here, this is uh, what, what we expect for November to shake out. Um, looks like the eastern Canada has been the cold spot, coldest in 30 plus years. Uh, northeast U.S., coldest in 22 years. In fact, even in the Midwest there, it's been the, the coldest in over 30 years. Other cold spots across the world, there would be uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Kazakhstan, parts of Central Siberia, and even Eastern Siberia. Other parts of area of Africa and Southeast Asia, Malaysia, on the warm side. But uh, overall, the world would be on the coldest in 11 years uh, here in November, wettest in 30 plus. We zoom into the U.S. here for November. Again, what we'd expect the, the month to finally end up here is the Northeast, coldest in 22 years, snowiest in 21. Uh, parts of the heartland into Missouri there, coldest in 30 plus years. Precip on the left here, we again, a little bit leading. this is a November total precipitation, if you will. So even though it's way below average in the southwest central U.S., that doesn't mean snowfall is way below average. So you don't need a lot of precip when it's really cold out to make a lot of snow. So sometimes you can have your rainfall precip, if you will, for the month be below normal, but your snowfall is way above normal. Uh, so a little bit misleading there. Overall for the U.S., we'd say it's the coldest in four years, fourth coldest in 30 plus years, so cold indeed. What is in 26 years, snowiest in four. Uh, if we look at the um, snowstorm that actually just went through the, the Midwest heartland here, you were either in it or out of it, a very narrow band of uh, eight to 15 inches of snow that went from Kansas, uh, Nebraska border into southern Iowa, just near the Chicago area. Uh, this storm is still raging through the Great Lakes, so we'll certainly be adding a little bit to this, but um, pretty impressive little storm here for um, over the past three days. Looking at the season-to-date snowfall across the U.S., this is pretty epic. Uh, I can, can't stress this enough. This is the, the most uh, snowfall we've seen in 18 years for the U.S. this early. In fact, every state in the country has had snow, even Hawaii, uh, except Florida. Uh, so I can find a little bit of snow here on the map uh, in every state uh, except Florida. Um, so again, pretty epic start and a sign of things to come here, obviously, for this winter. We think this trend will certainly continue all the way into February. Snow cover here this morning is also pretty high, 30%. Uh, normal would be about 19% uh, of the U.S. covered in snow. Last year, we virtually had no snow. Uh, a little bit of the Rockies had uh, overall about 3%. So about tenfold increase in snow cover here across uh, the U.S. here this morning. So again, a pretty significant change, obviously. Looking at the snowfall, this is just a model interpretation of the n this week and next week uh, outlook. Take it with a grain of salt. Again, it's just model interpretation, but what it's suggesting here is that we're not going to lose the stormy pattern anytime soon. Uh, it actually looks to be uh, several systems traversing the U.S. Any one of these tracks can shift, obviously, this far out. So next week, uh, again, another system through the Midwest. Probably a couple systems going through the northeast into New England with heavy snow. Again, take the track with a grain of salt because as far out, um, tracks do shift. Uh, but the bottom line is there are systems out there, their cold air is coming back, and um, that just sets the stage for, again, the continuation of this cold, snowy pattern that we've been in. Looking at the next six days, again, we see the remnants. Most of the snow here in Illinois has already fallen uh, in and around Chicago. Uh, so this is a system exiting the Great Lakes into New England. So the higher elevations of New England certainly get another eight to 12 plus inches, uh, even 12 to 18 inches we get into Maine. So a pretty decent snowpack here for New England. Then the Great Lake effect snows kick into gear. You can see the very heavy snow uh, around uh, the lake shores there and uh, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, and New York. Uh, another system into the Rockies, a uh, little system traversing the upper Great Lakes as we get later in the week, and then another system moving into the Rockies. So we're gonna add to the snowpack here over the week ahead. Um, Saturday here, we just end up with, uh, again, a lot of light snow across the, the Rockies and a little bit of flurries in New England. Uh, looking at this week on the, the world scale, again, for the 26th November through 2 December time frame, uh, very wet uh, in the eastern half, a lot of precip in the eastern half of the U.S., and more heavy rain for California. They, they ended November here with a lot of rain, and they're going to continue with that. So thank goodness, because that actually did help put out some of these uh, massive fires in California. Cold is limited to the central eastern U.S., uh, parts of the Rockies. Uh, very cold in Eastern Europe. A little bit of a change there uh, here as we look at this week. Zoom in a bit here to the U.S. So you can see the U.S. overall. Uh, again, a lot of this precip here is some of it will be rain, some will be snow. Uh, certainly along the coastal areas, a lot of rain here at this stage. Uh, but inland, a lot of this precip will be actually in the form of snow. Uh, California this week again continues to get a lot of rain. Um, so again, helping put out those flowers. The problem now is mudslides uh, with all that uh, burnt forest areas. 
Again, the cold here in the central part of the U.S. is the cold spot in and around Kansas City where all that recent snowpack is. For this week overall, we'd say it's the coldest in five years for the U.S., making it the 11th coldest in 30 years. Wettest in three, and that's the third wettest in 30 plus years, and the snowiest in four. So again, kind of continuing these cold, snowy trends, if you will. We look at uh, next week, three through nine December across the world. Again, same general trends of wet in the western part of the U.S. and uh, the southeast, northeast. Again, storm track is still remaining here along the east coast. More of the country gets cold here and in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, so again, the U.S. overall, again, about the, the coldest in uh, 11 years, actually 11th coldest of the past 30 years. And again, much colder in um, Europe. We'll zoom in here to the U.S. here for next week. The uh, again conveyor belt of moisture throughout the southeast up the east coast again some of this obviously in New England and the interior northeast of Pennsylvania here is going to be in the form of snow, and then more heavier rain for North Carol sorry Northern California into the Pacific Northwest where they've been pretty dry so this is uh, some welcome welcome rainfall to say the least more of the country again here for next week is below normal um, this is a there's a brief warm up here next week but then a, another strong cold front so this warming trend along the immediate east coast will actually be a little bit colder. Um, when all is said and done. So another kind of nationwide cold blast here going into next week. Overall next week will be the colds in two years, 11th colds in 30, uh, wettest in 30, and snowiest in five. So again, continuing those snowy trends. If you're counting down to Christmas, there's about 28, uh, 28 days, 14 hours, 7 minutes, and 9 seconds left. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I actually got the holiday Christmas card done early, three weeks early this year, so I'm off to the races. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and uh, we will be here this time next week.